Hey there, it's Brittany, and I am back today with a tutorial that's a little different um, than I've shown before, and I'm so excited to be um, uh, doing this for Dress It Up Buttons. And um, we're gonna be using these cute little sunflowers. We're at the end of summer, beginning of fall, and um, I wanted to show you some hair accessories that I've made for years, and I think they're super cute. They're a little country, but they're very adorable, and um, they can be adapted into so many different things. So Dress It Up sent me these adorable little sunflowers. I got some coordinating fabric, sunflower fabric. Um, but if you don't have sunflower fabric, anything that you have will work, any fabric. So I have some green, um, and a later, little bit later, I'll even show you a couple different patterns. So what you'll need are some Dress It Up buttons. I also have, um, a circle cut out and it's about two and a half inch circle uh, you can also use a die cutting machine if you have one but I'm going to show you the um, the manual way to do this and I also have some about one and a half inch felt circles cut out you can buy these pre-cut again you can use a die cut machine whatever works for you so what I would say is cut out eight circles from your fabric and you can do that by um, folding over your fabric multiple times to cut out a cir eight circles. I've already done that and I've cut out eight circles in actually both of these fabrics. So I have eight in my sunflower print and they don't need to be perfect. As you can see, there are some frayed edges. There may be a little bit wonky. It won't matter. It actually adds a little bit to the charm of the the hair piece or hair accessory that we're making and then I have eight in green I am going to take I'm gonna do the first one with our um, sunflower print and I'm going to set aside my um, circle I don't need that anymore and then um, you're also going to need some hot glue and a hot glue gun I'm using the uh, there seem to be a high temp and a low temp um, I am using the high temp today, but if you're more comfortable using low temp, that's totally fine. Um, just make sure that your glue is saturating your fabric. So I am going to take one of my circles and I'm going to fold it in half. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. If you're a person who is very, um, particular about what your piece will look like, totally line that up, totally um, trim it. You can even use some um, fabric, uh, you can use glue or, or maybe some stuff that won't make your piece fray. I'm not worried about that. I think I like the little flyaways that happens when, when you leave the edges raw like that. Um, so then I fold it in half and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. So we have a little quarter circle. I'm going to take just a dot of glue and be very careful because it is hot and I'm going to slide it in between our little folds there and put a little glue and glue that shut. And I'm going to put that to the side and then I'm going to do that seven more times. Here's the last one, and I want to uh, just kind of talk about pattern placement if you have a pattern. Um, so, depending on how you fold this, you can get it like an all almost all black piece that doesn't really have a, a, um, a sunflower on it, except for maybe right in the middle, or you can get a piece that has you know more of the sunflower showing. It really depends on what you want. So, if you fold it this way, you'll get a full sunflower right there. I think that's the one I want. So this is my last piece. And then I'm gonna grab one of my pieces of felt and I'm just going to put it right there for a moment. So I would like to point out that you have two different types of edges. So you have the folded edge right here and you have like the, the I mean, well, this is the folded edge, but then you have the two, like the open edge. Um, 
I don't mind if my pieces are facing different directions, but if you're a little bit more, like I said, particular, you might want to line them up so the fold is facing one way and the open end is facing the other way. So when you're grabbing your pieces, it's a little bit easier for you. I'm going to put, uh, put them all in the same direction, just really kind of making sure that the direction I choose has the best pattern placement. This one's going to be, I'm going to start with this one because this one will actually be covered up and the pattern placement isn't the best on it. All right, so what we're going to do is grab our first piece. And I am going to make sure that I glue the tip of the piece where the the fold is on the right side so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little dot of glue and I usually have like um, a skewer or a, a pencil whatever to help me press down my piece so my finger doesn't burn from the hot glue so I'm just gonna put that there and put the point as close to the middle of your piece as possible okay Next, I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I am going to glue the side that doesn't have, or that has the uh, folded side to the left, or the open side to the, I'm sorry, the open side to the right, folded side to the left. And then I'm just gonna place it half on this piece. Sorry, it's out of the screen there. Half on this piece and half off of this piece. And again, I'm gonna take my pencil and push that down so I don't burn my fingers. Okay. And I am gonna keep doing that all around the circle of felt. Don't worry if you see strings, don't worry if you see a little bit of glue in the center, it's totally fine. You just wanna make sure you push that down pretty hard to make sure that it's adhering correctly. There we go. Isn't that shaping up to be a really cute flower? And then we're just gonna keep going until we run out of pieces. It's a really fun way to match any piece of jewelry you've made, any outfit you have. It's a really great way to write, recycle some fabric if you're children or even yourself, you've grown out of a piece of clothing but you love the print, cut it up. <laughs> Make some hair um, accessories with it. And uh, I'm actually going to be making a necklace using some of these on my channel on YouTube called Turquoise Dot Street. Okay. So we are laying down our last piece and it's actually gonna kind of, it's not gonna totally cover that back piece, but it's gonna cover most of it. So then we're gonna go like this, get that in where it needs to be. Just like that. And press that into our middle. Okay, so we have what looks closely, uh, kind of like a flower so far. Um, I am gonna trim just a little bit off of this edge here. So that was sticking out a little bit further than the rest of our petals. We want it to be a little bit more cohesive than that. But then, so we just give it a little haircut, but you'll see some, some frayed edges around the, the, the sides, and those will fray over time and look a little rustic. 
So I'm going to open my buttons. And you'll notice these buttons have a shank on the back. Just like that. I'm going to take some some cutters, some nippers that I use in jewelry making or you I mean they can be wire cutters, whatever. These are a little bit more heavy duty. Um, and I'm just going to snip. Okay. So if you don't glue this together, um, it's going to, and I'll show you in one of the regular ones, it's three pieces and you can take it apart and use them in different projects if you'd like, but we're using it all together today. So I am going to take my hot glue or you can use some E6000 for an even better bond. But if you're like, I would say if you're using the cooler temp hot glue, then I would recommend using E6000 for this portion. But since I'm using the higher temp hot glue, it's going to be okay. And I'm just making sure that I'm getting all around those little uh, pieces of the shank and bonding that to the button. And then I'm just going to place it right in the center of our flower and push and wait for that to dry. And there we go. We have our first little flower and isn't it super cute? Can't you picture this on a headband or a clip? It's adorable. I'm going to do the exact same thing with our green and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our piece with our felt back and then I made a green one as well. And I also made a dual one that has the green and the uh, sunflower motif on it. So I'm going to show you two different styles of hair accessories that we can make with these flowers. Um, the, it's kind of limitless though. You can get pin backs, you um, can get uh, barrettes, anything you'd like. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make a headband and I'm going to show you how to make a barrette. So I have a baggie of different styles of clips. You can find them at any craft store. Um, and today the style that I'm going to use is this flat style and it comes in several sizes. I actually used a larger one on a different piece today. Um, today I'm going to make the clip out of um, another felt circle and um, the mixed print flower. So I'm going to take my clip and kind of line it up on the back of our our flower um, and then the top is going to go towards the flower okay so it's kind of upside down we're gonna put um, a dollop of glue all along the middle of our flower and then I'm gonna take my clip and I'm gonna slide in another felt circle Okay, just like that and then I'm gonna lay that on top of our glue and our other felt circle and press okay so now that pin is trapped between our two pieces of felt so what we'll want to do is just come along and apply a little bit of glue to each of these edges just to keep it closed don't worry if there are little spider strings We'll clean those up. And there we go. So there is our first clip. And you just slide it in your hair. You can um, clip, I used to clip these onto my um, tote bags. Um, you can clip it onto your shirt. You can also put on a, um, a pin back like this to pin it to your shirt or one of the um, the other kinds of pin backs that has uh, like a point on it where it's just a circle. So there's our first hair clip and it's super cute. It's just adorable and it's perfect for upcoming fall. And then as you, you know, kind of make them, you can ruffle these up a little bit. So the, the flowers are a little bit more 3D. So there's our first one. And then I'm gonna take our second one and we have a little bit of glue in the middle here. Um, so I'm gonna take the second one, which is just the, the green one, and I have a dollar store headband. I'm gonna back out a little bit. 
just a really easy um, piece to find. You can use this kind of headband, you can use the fabric kind of headband, whatever you prefer. But I'm gonna grab this headband, just I think it came in a pack of three at the dollar store. And I'm gonna find where I would like to position my flower. I don't want it right on top, because I think that would be a little silly <laughs> to just have a big flower right on top of my head. But I'm gonna come to the side and I'm gonna position it towards the side. So with the same thought process, I'm gonna take my hot glue and put a large blob and then I'm gonna come in, set in my headband and then I'm gonna actually come in and take a little bit more glue and cover that up. And you can use your pencil because it is pretty hot, especially if we're using that really hot, hot glue with the hot setting um, instead of the low temp setting. And then we're just gonna do the exact same thing, come in around the edges of our felt and close it up. Don't worry about the stringies. We'll, get, we'll hit that with a heat gun. And, um, or you can very carefully hit it with like a candle lighter or whatever you have that is a little bit warmer than the glue to kind of eat up those flyaways. So here is, I'm gonna back out a little bit more. Here is our really adorable, super cute headband which is one size fits all. I, I will be super honest, I wore these all the time when I used to make them. Aren't they super cute? So there's our headband and here is our little barrette. I'm gonna go grab a heat gun, I'll be right back. Okay, I just have a generic heat tool and we can see a little bit of our spider webs going on there. And we want to be very careful that we don't get it too close. And we'll just kind of hit the heat gun. Watch out for your fingies. <laughs> and we'll just melt those little flyaways. Again, don't get too close. You don't want to melt anything else. I think I already cleaned these up. This one was a little thicker. Take it off and we are finished. One final thing that can be made with um, Dress It Up Buttons, super simple project, are bobby pins. So um, you can find um, bobby pins with a blank um, <clears throat> pad on them in many different colors, probably at the, the um, local craft store. And um, I'm just gonna grab some E6000 and my cutters and my button. And I'm just gonna snip off the shank again. That went flying. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a, da a dab of my E6000. I'm gonna put a little bit on the button, making sure to get right in with the shank where it was. And then just a tiny bit on the pad of my bobby pin and I want to let those sit just for a few seconds probably maybe 30 to 60 seconds and once we let that sit for 30 to 60 seconds I'm just going to press both pieces together and let the um, glue come over the top of my um, bobby pin pad so you can use um, like a toothpick, anything if you want to spread that glue around if you want to get it a more um, cohesive bond. I have, I have um, a paper piercer or bead ream or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to put a little bit, and I'm not worried about getting the glue on the, the metal piece, it'll come right off. Um, if I peel it off, and then we're just going to kind of spread that over. 
you can do that on both sides you, you don't have to do this part but it gives me a sense of uh, sturdiness okay and then we'll just let that um, sit for 24 hours I've already completed several others so this is what they look like when they're finished aren't they super cute just a little cute little bobby pin that you could stick in your hair tuck your bangs back put them in your ponytail or your bun um, and they're also really cute like you could stick them in plants too so I mean they're cute for all sorts of decorations Um, I want to show you a couple other pieces that I made. So here's one that's not, this one's more summery, more spring. Super cute, my favorite color. I, you knew I had to make one in turquoise. <laughs> and then here's one in black polka dots, which is adorable. So like I said, I am going to um, also be making a video containing, um, an, or well, a how-to on necklaces for these flowers on my channel. Uh, please visit me at uh, turquoise.street on YouTube and uh, Brittany's Beads on Facebook. I am so excited to be working with Dress It Up Buttons and thanks for having me on. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their day. Bye-bye.